this is the eighth problem in that they have given they have said that abcd is a parallelogram ac and bd are the diagonals intersect at o p and q are the points of trisection that means this part this part and this are equally divided the next prove that cq is parallel to ap cq is parallel to ap then we have to prove that ac bisects pq so for proving this we will first of all write the given information so what is given given that a b c d is a parallelogram then next they have said that bd is a diagonal bd is a diagonal bd and ac are though both are diagonal then next they have said that p and q are points of trisection points of trisection then next we will consider two triangles that is abq in triangle abq and triangle cpd cpd in these two triangles if you observe the opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal so ab is equals to cd so ab is equals to cd why because opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal the next in this this part means bq and dp are equal bq and dp are equal why because of because that the points are trisection that's why they are equal if you see these these are these are parallel lines and this one is transversal so this angle and this angle are equal so angle a b q angle a b q is equals to angle p d c are equal why because these angles are alternate angles alternate angles are equal so alternate angles then next because of these three things these two triangles are congruent therefore triangle a b q is congruent to triangle c p d then next we can say that their corresponding parts are equal if these two triangles are congruent hum ye bol sakte hain ki log ke corresponding parts kya hai equal hai so a q or c p equal hai so a q is equals to c p the next a q क्या है ए सी पी के इक्वल है और ऑलरेडी हम देखे तो इसको क्या है पैरेलल भी है सो ए क्यू इज पैरल टू सी पी देन नेक्स्ट हम देखेंगे अब नेक्स्ट दो ट्राइंगल्स ए पी डी एंड बी क्यू सी इन ट्राइंगल ए पी डी एंड सी क्यू डी in this triangles if you see what are the things are equal opposite sides are equal so ad is equals to bc then next why because opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal that's why these two are equal then next what can you say about this one dp and qb are equal so dp is equals to bq which we have already written here because of trisection then next what we can say about this angle and this angle these are alternate angles so we can say that angle adp is equals to angle qbc these are alternate angles that's why they are equal so therefore we can say that triangle apd is congruent to triangle cqd the next 
if these triangles are congruent then their corresponding parts are equal so here ap is equals to cq ap is equals to cq then next it is also parallel so ap is parallel to cq ap is parallel to cq then next as the as you can see opposite sides are equal and parallel therefore from one and two we can say that from one and two we can say that this is a parallelogram from one and two we can say a p a p c q is a parallelogram then next a p c q is a parallelogram next you know that diagonals bisect each other so if you see ac and pq ac bisects pq why because because diagonals bisect each other in a parallelogram so it is proved here we have proved cq is parallel to ap here the next ac bisects pq here 